Hello, Rob Morgan here, and a couple of people have been asking me lately about using a touchscreen as a control surface, and I just want to show you how it works for me in my mix room. And uh, I got the Planar 27-inch Helium, I guess that's what it's called, touchscreen. Kind of looks like this, sits on the desk here, and um, I actually replaced the digital mixing console that used to sit inside this desk and put this thing on here and, and I just, I like it way better, to be honest with you. And uh, I use it in conjunction with this fader port right there. And I can't use a mouse is my big problem. I have problems with my hands and I cannot hold on to a mouse. I can drag my fingers across the screen easy enough and that's what I do. So, um, hi Joe. At any rate, so on the internet it's pretty cool because say you're looking at a page and you want to go back you just reach over here and drag across and you're back you're back so those those kind of thing that's kind of nice and uh, i'm gonna get rid of the internet here and it kind of works like an ipad if you've ever used an ipad now for mixing um i use i i view my track view up here i always leave my um, edit history open so i can see when i screwed something out i can notice it before later on when I'm like, oh, I moved those tracks or deleted something. So I kind of always leave my track view up there. Down here is where I can touch things to, um, you know, mix. If I'm gonna mix something, I just reach down and grab a, a volume and move it. And if I'm working on this one, I can just reach over and grab, grab this and move it. It makes it real nice to not have to navigate a mouse around. If I wanna move tracks, I just grab the track Pull it over to where it goes. I can rearrange things. Um, I can, if I'm gonna do a group of tracks, I'll highlight the group of tracks and then I can move them as a group there. See that? If I want to, if I wanna look at an effect, I can just click on the effect here and bring it up. And say I wanna add an effect. Let me just add an effect here. Bam, opens up right away. I can, it's really just seems intuitive to reach over and grab things and with your fingers rather than, than having to, um, to use a mouse and say, I want to move this on the screen somewhere. I mean, instead of using a mouse, it's just so great to do this. Um, I can copy my effects other channels just pull them and drag them over i want to put that there just copy and pull that over there um, if i want to right click i touch and touch again and it opens my right click window see how i do that i just boom open the other way to right click on this one is you push you just push and wait till the circle shows up and then you're there so again to pull up these effects i just i just literally touch on what i want to see and there it is. See that? It's very, very sweet. Another cool thing on Studio One, say I want to mute some of these tracks, I literally just touch mute and go across and they're muted. If I want to unmute them, I touch, go across, they're unmuted. Simple as that. It, I mean, it makes it, it makes it, um, oops, I'm moving that track around. Makes it just fantastic. So that's my short little video. Um, on using a touch screen for mixing. Um, I just like to reach out and touch something. You know, I don't want to have to, uh, I don't want to have to navigate a mouse around to do this stuff. I just want to grab it, touch it, you know, go over here. Now I'm over here. Now I want to go back to this and make an adjustment here. I don't want to try to navigate a mouse around because you know I can't even use a mouse so I use this pad down here when I have to use a mouse and I just scroll my fingers around around it very similar to just reaching up here and, and touching this stuff right so that's my store and I'm sticking to it let me know if you have any questions thanks bye